In today's video, you are going to learn how to set up your Salesforce community to allow access to Salesforce apps like Chargent and how to assign a community license. It's quick and easy once you understand how your community works. A Salesforce community, part of Salesforce's Experience Cloud, is a place where your customers can sign in to a private portal and access various data from your Salesforce org based on permissions you assign. This means accessing their own information, such as an outstanding balance that needs to be paid or a receipt for their records. One very important thing that you should know is that you can reduce your accounts receivable and collections challenges in Salesforce with Chargent. My name is Stacy, and I'm from Chargent. If you are a Salesforce admin or consultant who wants to learn about payments and be a superstar for your organization, then you are in the right place. There are three places that we are going to set up permissions and assign licenses. The first is in Workspace and Builder, which are within the community portal and allow access to the community based on user profiles. The other is going to be within Salesforce Setup, where we will assign permissions and licenses for users who need access. In order to use Chargent within your community, you want to make sure you are on Chargent Platform Edition or higher, and you have a community setup. Learn how Chargent can make your payments process configurable and automated, saving you time and money. Download the guide from the link in the description of this video right now. To start, we are going to click on the gear icon and select Setup. In the quick find, search for all sites. Select it under the Digital Experiences section. Here you will see any community sites you have already set up. First, we want to click on Workspaces and go into the Administrator settings. Under Members, you will see all the available profiles that can be enabled as well as permission sets to assign. Use the drop-down to search Customer Profile Options and add the Customer Community User Profile. Under Permission Sets, you will add the Chargent User Base and Chargent User Orders permission sets. Next, go to Login and Registration, where you will have the option to customize how your community looks and set up login defaults. If you want your customers or partners to be able to self-register, you can check the box. Now, when they go to your site, they will have the option to sign up if they don't have an account. The next place we need to go to is the Builder. Click Administration on the top and select Builder. Here you will add the charge and order object to your community page and any other pages you want customers to have access to, like open cases or their past invoices. Click on Home in the top menu bar to see the drop-down menu and click the New Page button on the bottom. Select the Objects page and search for Charge and Orders and click the Create Pages button. The final Final steps within the community portal are under the settings option in the left panel. Click the gear icon on the left and under general you will see the option for public access. You want to enable the setting to allow access to the community. You also want to make sure charge and orders are shown in the navigation. This will make it easier for your customers to locate. Now that your community portal is set up, you want to do two more things back in Salesforce setup. Make sure your user is a community user and assign that user a community license. In your Salesforce org, click on the gear icon and select Setup. We are going to go under Users and click on the community user's full name. Click the Edit button. Under User License, select Customer Community, and for the profile, we want to select Customer Community User. Click Save. We will now scroll down under Manage Packages and click the Assign Licenses button. Check the Charge and Orders option and click Add. Your community user should now have access to your community portal and the charge and orders object. You have now set up your community to allow access to charge and orders and assigned your users a community license. And now check out this next video where you'll learn about payments in Salesforce. My name is Stacy, and at Chargent, we're dedicated to helping Salesforce customers like you keep your payments simple. And remember, we're always here to help.